All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own ERC20 token. Uh, so the other day, I made Sotko coin. It was fairly easy to do. It's not really for sale. It's not going to be an ICO or anything like that. It was just for fun. Uh, so I'm going to tell you guys how to do that. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is do it on the Ropston test net, uh, which you can get free Ropston Ethereum from for. Um, and it's not real Ethereum. It's just it's just sort of test Ethereum so that you can actually create the smart contract and use it as gas. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually make that coin, uh, rather token, go live on the actual Ethereum network, uh, which, uh, mind you, does cost Ethereum. I think it's like 30 to $50 of Ethereum, depending on what you make. Um, so be prepared to pay if you actually want a real token. But uh, the the difference is very little. It's virtually the same uh, thing to make a real token or the Ropsten token. Um, so you can do a lot of things with your token. Your, your limit is your imagination. Uh, you can even make an ICO just by putting a few scripts in there. So basically, if people send Ethereum to the contract, uh, it will obligate via the smart contract and send uh, your tokens to them, just like an ICO does. However, I don't rec recommend doing that uh, because in, in some countries it is illegal to do that, uh, to make ICOs like in America. And some people get around that by making it a crowd sale and wording it in certain ways. So I wouldn't make an ICO unless you have a company prepared to do that uh, and maybe lawyers and such. So we're just going to make a regular absolutely basic token. And even a Ropston token on the test net can be kind of fun and useful. So if you make a, just a poker coin or something like that, you and, you and your friends can uh, trade around uh, Ropston um, Ethereum and your token and stuff like that, and nothing bad will come from it. But like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to make the, we'll show you how to make the real coin. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is go to myetherwallet.com, and all these links are going to be in the description below. We'll try to make this as easy as possible. Myetherwallet.com. Uh, you can do this with MetaMask, but uh, I, I just prefer my Ether wallet. And so the first thing you're going to do is go to the right top corner here and scroll on down till you see ropstonmyetherwallet.com. So you're going to click on that. It's going to sort of refresh on you. <clears throat> and we're going to make a wallet. So I'm actually going to show you guys making this wallet. I'm going to show you guys the private key and everything. It literally doesn't matter. This is just a Ropston uh, My Ether wallet. Nothing of value is going to be in this. Steal it if you want or don't. It, it literally doesn't matter. So we're just going to make a password and the password can be whatever you want doesn't really matter. Uh, you're going to click create wallet and then you're going to download the key store file and uh, just download that to your desktop. And um, what I like to do is just make a wallet and uh, throw that key store file in there. So we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of this older one here. And we're going to throw that in there and then just right click on here and just make a text document. Um, and it doesn't matter what you call the document. So I like to put the uh, the private key and the public key in here. And remember, don't really store your wallet information on um, on your computer uh, if you have anything important there. Uh, I never do uh, nothing important. That is, so don't do this necessarily. And if you're going to do this, just put it on a thumb drive or something like that. If it actually has Ethereum or real coins on it, um, don't don't do this. Just put it on a, a thumb drive or a Trezor wallet or something like that. So, uh, and then click I understand and continue, and we're going to save the private key. So this is the private key, and again, it just it doesn't really matter. It's just a Ropston wallet, uh, so it doesn't matter if it is uh, on public eyes or not. But remember, never show anybody else your actual public key, or your private key, if... Um, if that's the case. So uh, we're going to access the wallet via the private key. And we're just going to take that same private key and we're going to paste it in there. I actually kind of got to look at my keyboard there and we're going to unlock it. Great. So we have a Ropston Ethereum wallet. As you can see, this just, just holds Ropston Ethereum and testnet tokens. So nothing of value. Um, and we're going to take the public key because you're going to need these and put it in here and we already had the private key in there great 
Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we need to get Sublime Text. This is just a program. Again, it's just sublimetext.com. The link is going to be in the description below and download it for Windows. So get that, get it installed, and on to the next step. Uh, we're going to go to remix.ethereum.org. And uh, this is sort of the old... Um, Sanko coin token contract and this is sort of what we're going to uh to modify but we're going to get rid of this for now and i will just get rid of that uh so now we're going to go to your desktop where you uh, installed sublime rather than the next the next step uh is go to uh github and again this is going to be in the description below and you're going to go to this link here and um, you're going to uh, clone or download. And it has a contract and a license and a readme in it. And you're going to download it as a zip. And you're going to get this. And you can just throw this in the wallet if you want. It really doesn't matter where you put this or in its own folder. Again, it just doesn't matter. Uh, and you're going to click extract here. And what you're going to get is is this here and you're going to open up contracts and this probably won't be an actual sublime file when you get it uh so what you want to do is uh just you can either click on that and then open with sublime or you can just actually uh, go into sublime and click open file and then click on that erc20 tutorial and it's going to open it up now yours is going to look slightly different this token contract is all going to look a little bit different but that's okay it's all pretty much the same uh, so we're good with that and uh, what we need to do is now modify this uh, sublime uh, erc20 uh, script here so uh, what you want to do is name it. Uh, your, your token contract has to be named. So on line four here, you're going to name the contract. And we're just going to call this Derp Coin. Um, Derp Coin. Why not? <clears throat> and the next thing you're going to uh, modify is line six. And it's gonna, this, is, this is the uh, address, the public address that uh, all of your coins are going to be deployed to. So you're going to go back, and this is why I had you guys write down the private key and the public key for now, because you're going to be using it a lot. So um, copy and paste your public key, mind you, your public key, and copy that. And uh, just get rid of this and plop that right in there. So we got OX6D, OX6D, great. Uh, so this is going to be the symbol of your coin. So if, uh, just like Bitcoin is BTC, um, you know, derp uh, is going to be derp. It doesn't matter. It could be DRP. Uh, usually you want to make it three symbols. Um, four symbols works. Five symbols also works. But I don't know actually how many you can have in your symbol. So again, it's just the abbreviation of your coin. Just like Bitcoin is BTC, Bitcoin Cash is BCH, Ethereum is ETH. Uh, so we'll just call it derp. Uh, and again, now on line eight, we have to modify this. And we want to make that derp coin because that is the name of our coin now your total supply don't actually touch this you don't you don't really need to touch this uh, we're actually going to modify that total supply in a different area now the decimals uh there can be up to 16 decimals in an ethereum uh erc20 token coin uh so just like bitcoin has eight decimals which we call the final one satoshi uh we can have this so i like to use eight because uh, a coin with 0. 0.000 all the way to 16 and then a one or rather 15 and then a one is pretty much a useless coin to be totally honest like what kind of value could 16 digits even be so i like to use eight you can use whatever number you want but you'll have to remember this decimal number and that is eight for now. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll down um, in uh, Sublime here until you get to line 102 and the contract Santco coin here. And we don't actually want a space in between here. So that was uh, changed later on for me. So contract derp coin, and it's gonna be the name of your coin. Contract is derp coin in this case with no space. Uh, excuse me, I put a P in there. So uh, put it wrong. Derp coin is ERC20 interface. Um, and then now we scroll down a little bit more and you can have function. Uh, and this used to be Sotco coin, uh, but we're going to change it. 
And this can actually have a space in it, derp coin function, function derp coin. And I'll scroll down a little bit more to 116, where the symbol is again. And we're going to put that same symbol that we used earlier, and that's derp. So it's going to be the same symbol that we used all the way up uh, in the higher line. And the name, again, uh, can have a space. Uh, but in this case, it's not going to have a space. It's going to be called derp coin without a space. And the decimals, once again, is going to be the decimals that you chose earlier, and we chose eight. And now the total supply of the coin has to be um, whatever you want. Now, if you want one million coins, let's do one million for this. So we have one, uh, 100,000 and then three more, and that's one million. But you see that I have more zeros on there, and those are the decimals. And since I chose eight decimals, I have to put eight additional zeros after the number of the total supply of coins I wanted to have. So if you wanted 100 million coins with eight decimals, you would write 100 million plus eight more zeros. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight more zeros past 1 million because you'd have 0. 0.00000. So there's that. Now we have two more uh, things that we want to modify before we're done. Now we have to change this back to the public key. So we're gonna wanna get rid of this. And if we can, there we go. So we're just gonna get rid of this and put in the public key from your wallet that you made on the Ropsten network, mind you. And we're also gonna do it here as well, transfer to this address. So what this is saying is that the balance of this is going to this, as the total supply is gonna to transfer to, to this address. And that is it for this. So we're just gonna save that, and that's good to go. Now we have, uh, we want to go to remix.ethereum.org. And again, it's going to be in the description below, or you can just Google Remix Ethereum and you'll get this page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy everything from this. Uh, so just uh, control A, X, V, in my opinion, you can do it easier than that, but I always just do that. And we're gonna copy it all right here. Uh, so some things you gotta look out for in here is you wanna go to settings and you wanna disable optimization. Don't use optimization. Now, this may be useful in other contracts and other tokens that you want to make, but not in this case. Disable, enable optimization. Don't have a check mark on there. And this is also uh, something useful as well. You want to look for this. Okay, so you want to use see what current version you are on because this will come into play later. 0.2, uh, excuse me, 0 0.4.24 plus commit uh, plus E6 and so on. So we're gonna have to remember that, but again, you can just keep the page open and it's not something you need to commit to memory or anything. So now what we wanna do is just start to compile and you're going to get um, an error. Um, and in this case, there was an error. So what we wanna do uh, is that the function cannot have a space. So I accidentally put a space here so let's bring that back. So even if you want your coin to have a space in the name, all other places in the name can have a space. So I could have a, I could have a space between derp and coin if I wanted to in all the uh, places where I put my coin name. Uh, but if you get a red error like this when you start to compile and you notice a space after the function in line 115, you have to remove that. So let's put it as just derp coin with no space and we'll recompile that. So if you get any reds, it's not gonna work. Uh, but if you get yellows, it can work. There can be an error after you, you do a yellow, but don't worry about it. Um, most of the time it will just go just fine. You can see all these errors that I have yellow errors, but it's just a potential error. So don't worry about that. Uh, and then you want to go, uh, you wanna click on this uh, and you wanna go down to derp coin and click derp coin, and that is the name of the coin that you just compiled. So now uh, details, uh, you will click here, and we're gonna get this, we're gonna get all this nonsense. And what you wanna do is copy everything in the object line past object. And you'll see what I'm about to do here. So we're just gonna go all the way to the right first. I find it easier just to go all the way to the right. And for some reason, uh, maybe you can find a, a faster way to do this, but um, yeah, you're looking at it. So just keep going to the right, keep moving it all the way to the right. 
and then to the left if you go a little too far here and even further even further let's just move it a little faster there we go okay so we're going to start our cursor right here and we're going to copy all this so don't worry about it if you copied some of that blue up there we'll fix that in just a second so we're going to hold down our mouse button we're going to we're just going to copy all of this all of this one line right here this line i know this is very strange but this is how it is done okay so now we're going to right click uh copy and now we're going to go back to your ether wallet and we're going to go to contracts so click contracts and hit select existing uh contract or excuse me ex uh, click deploy contract and make sure that you're on the network the the ropston network and deploy that contract however uh we, we do need ethereum in here so what you need to do is just uh ropston ethereum wallet and so you're going to go to this ropston faucet and i will put this link in the description sorry i was a little out of uh, a little out of queue here um and so what you need to do is uh, view your wallet info and we're going to need to get the private key again so we'll probably have to redo uh that that other step there because what you need to do is you need to have ropston ethereum in your wallet to to use as gas uh so we're gonna get the we're gonna get our public address from our wallet here and we're gonna click there and send me one test ether so uh, we should get that ether uh very soon uh so we might have to refresh the wallet and see if we have the uh see if we have that in there and once again this is why i had you guys write down the private keys because uh you're gonna you're gonna need it so now we have one Ropston Ethereum because we need that Ethereum to create this contract, this gas. So I did that a little out of order. I apologize. But either way, you just go to this address. I'm going to put it in the description below and you put in your public key of uh, your of your wallet so that you can get one test ether. Now, uh, that might be like, hey, that's free Ethereum. No, it's not. It's just test Ethereum. So, okay, so now we got one Robston Ethereum. So we're going to go to contracts and we're going to hit deploy contract. So now we need to put that byte code, that big long code that we put in uh, that, that we um, that we had. And luckily it's still uh, it's still selected for us. So we're going to copy that and we're going to go. Uh, and again, this is deploy contract and contracts in my ether wallet. We're going to have the Robston still selected. Uh, and we're going to just paste that in there. But you need to do two things. You need to get rid of everything on the ends, uh, the quotations and the comma, and the quotation up here. We're going to get rid of that. Then we're going to put a zero and an X. That is not an O. That is a zero and then an X before the bytecode. Uh, so then we're going to need to uh, paste the private key in again. So we're going to scroll down here. And if you did this correctly, if you put in this bytecode correctly, uh, again, by um, by copying all of it and then get ri getting rid of the quotations and such on the ends and putting that 0x in there, you will see the gas limit required to deploy this contract. And when you go to actually make a real Ethereum token it's going to be the same thing you're actually going to do the same thing except you're going to be on my ether wallet so you'd have to create an actual ethereum my ether wallet and not a robston one and do it the same way except you're going to have to have real ethereum in your wallet to uh, fund the gas limit required to do this. Uh, but what I recommend, if you have a really good idea for a coin, uh, when you do when you do this Robston Ethereum token creation that I'm showing you, do it with a coin that you wouldn't normally make. Just make up some name and just make some fake coin that you wouldn't uh, normally make, a fake token that is. And uh, you know, so just, just name it something that you don't wanna actually name your real token. Uh, just so you don't uh, make two of the same. So we have to put in our private key here. And private key. And there we go. And we're going to unlock. Then we have to sign the transaction. And as soon as you do this, this little thing is going to pop up here. And try to get on it pretty quick. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. As soon as you do this, this little this little thing is going to pop up down here. And you're going to want to click on, on it pretty fast. 
Uh, so hit sign transaction, and then it'll say deploy contract. And then, yes, I'm sure, make the transaction because it's going to use your Ropston Ethereum, but that's not a big deal because you got it from a faucet. So, yes, I'm sure, make the transaction. And then we're going to click on the contract address down there at the bottom. It says contract address, and this is our contract address now. So we're actually going to take this, and we're going to copy, and we're going to save that. We're going to save our contract address. So contract, and then address. Let's go ahead and save that. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look that up and we're just going to hit go. And, uh, where was it? There we go. So we had to uh, just view contract internal transactions um, and you just put in your contract in Go and you'll get this page here. And what you wanna do is click on code. So you'll, you'll get code right here, click on that. And then it'll say verify and publish. So this opened up in a new window for me and I don't really want it in a new window. So I'm gonna put it up here. You don't really have to do that if you don't want to, but I just like the organization factor. So again, code and then verify and publish. And then just, like I said, just put in your contract address up here and just view contract internal uh, transactions and it'll work. So verify and publish, and you're gonna get this page here and we're almost done. Um, so this is the contract address and just verify that that was the same contract address and it is, and it usually always is. And now you have to put in your contract name. So what was the contract name that we made? And it's all the way up uh, on the top and it's just called Derpcoin. Derpcoin is the token contract. So we're gonna write that in, Derpcoin. And now we didn't use optimization, so uh, click no on that. And then this is where we would re where we remembered the uh, compiler that we used in Remix. So if you don't remember what that is, just click on settings back in your remix.ethereum.org, and it says 0 0.4.24 plus commit e6. And if you just have to you know write that down to remember it, but uh, we're just gonna go. Um, so that one's pretty easy to remember. So again, it's 0 0.4.24 and it's all in order plus commit E67 right there. Boom. Now we don't need to put anything. Um, we, all we need to do is just, uh, excuse me, just copy paste all of that and paste it right on in there. And then we're going to hit, I am not a robot and verify and publish. And it's going to take a little bit. And it will either give you an error code saying, hey, this didn't work uh, with a reasoning behind it, or it will make your coin and send 1 million derp coins to that address. And success, we now have 1 million uh, derp coin. But you might think to yourself, uh, let's see, uh, we got to go to now we now we want to see if we received those 1 million derp coin because we we just officially made a, an ERC20 token it was that easy um although again this is a test net so it's not a real token but it's the same exact thing um so we're going to go to private key and we're going to put in our private key and access our wallet and see if we got that and again uh this is just a test wallet it, it, it there's nothing of value in this wallet so uh, yeah uh unlock and we'll see, uh, we'll show our tokens. And you can see it used some of that Robston Ethereum to actually make that contract. It used the gas, the, the Ethereum, to make that contract. And as you can see, we used to have one, but now we have 0.88. So if this was real Ethereum, you'd have 0.88 Ethereum or so. Uh, so it does use, it does cost money to actually make the real token. So we're going to show tokens and you, you, see, you can see that, hey, where are my tokens? So you, what you have to do is add a custom token. So you have to remember this contract address. And your contract address was right here. It says Bytecoin ABI for this contract address. You can click on that and you'll get the and you'll get this page again for your contract and just click this and copy it. Take it back to your Ether wallet and paste that in there. There you go. I couldn't find my V. Um, and your token symbol 
So you got to remember what your token symbol was. And the symbol was just derp. All it was was derp. So derp and then eight decimals we made uh, and save. And there it is, one million derp. So we just made an ERC-20 token. Now, you, you've seen that uh, I sent you guys to this GitHub and there are plenty of other contracts uh, on GitHub that you can use, that you can modify, that you can learn from. It's just a matter of Googling it. It's just a matter of searching for it that you can modify. Now, you might think to yourself, what does this coin do? Honestly, not a lot. You can send it back and forth to people and it's honestly not worth anything because it it wasn't sold to anybody but as i said you can put a you can put a stipulation uh, you can program into the contract a contract that states that when you receive ethereum you send out derp coin and therefore people bought it so let's say you made 1 million derp coin you put a you put an ico contract into uh, into the into the token itself um, and uh, people sent you uh, and, and you valued the derp at, at one Ethereum, uh, one uh, dollar a piece, and so people sent you eight hundred thousand dollars in Ethereum. So that means that if somebody sent you five hundred dollars in, in, in Ethereum, you, they would get five hundred coins because you valued your derp coin at one dollar. And you would have to program this in. And again, there are contracts that you can copy and paste into your into your coin. So let's say you received eight hundred thousand dollars. Not saying you're going to. Just an example. And uh, out of the 1 million coins that you had. So that means that you sent out 800,000 of your coins and you could put a stipulation in the contract that says, I keep the rest of the coins that I don't sell or the coins get burned and destroyed so that only 800,000 coins get distributed or I keep them or they get sent here or there. Uh, so you sent out 800,000 coins and that means you made $800,000 and that means that Derp now has a market cap of approximately $800,000 and it costs uh, a lot of money to put them on exchanges. So uh, don't uh, get too excited because I think even Cryptopia is like $350,000 just to list your coin. So probably not going to happen overnight. Just saying. But uh, you can not use this Rompston uh, coin. Now, r you cannot send this derp coin that I just made to an actual um, Ethereum wallet, to a, to an Ethereum um uh, to, to like a, a my ether ethereum wallet right if i sent this to one of your wallets that actually has ethereum and other tokens in it uh it would disappear and it's not going to go anywhere because the test net and the ethereum net are two different things so uh there are some uses for robston uh tokens like you could just make up your own use again like i said you could have uh your poker night and make a million poker coins and then distribute them among your friends and see who can make the most coins i don't know the uh or tokens rather the uh, limit is your imagination now let's say you want to do all of this but make a real token the only difference follow this exact same thing but the only difference is um you would do this with a my ether wallet so uh, when you click my ether wallet uh, you would make a an Ethereum wallet on the actual My Ether wallet, the very first one. And when you go to, to do the contract and deploy the contract, it's going to require actual Ethereum in that wallet. And then it will make a real coin. So that's the only difference here. Literally the same exact steps, except you do it with an actual My Ether wallet with Ethereum on the Ethereum network. Um, just make sure that when you make a new coin, like say you make a uh, Robston coin first for practice, when you make a real coin, make sure you change everything again. Um, because if you make a new coin, you say, okay, I'm gonna do this on the Ethereum and you change all this, your name and stuff to the coin that you actually wanna make or the token rather, I know I always say coin, but I always mean token. Um, to the token that you want to make and you change this name to uh you know uh my real my real token whatever um and you change it all um but if you don't change these addresses uh it will fail but it will still use your ethereum and you will lose money don't do that so you need to change this one to the actual ethereum wallet and you may need to make sure that you scroll down and as you're changing the names and such here that you need to change the balance and uh, the transfer of the total supply to 
uh, the new wallet that you're making. If you don't, you will regret it and you will lose Ethereum. But that is it. That is literally how you make an ERC-20 token. And of course, you would also put, you would put different contracts and different stipulations uh, within this and program it in your own way. Um, and again, you can go to GitHub and there are probably numerous, many, many hundreds of different contracts that you can copy and learn from and change in, in your own way uh, that you would like. So I hope this video was very, very helpful to you guys because I wanted to make an absolutely... Um, uh, followable uh, video as possible. I know it kind of went on a little bit long, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you every little step uh, along the way. And if you do it pretty much exactly how I did it, uh, it will work for you. Uh, depending on if you like to mess with the code or not, if you do that, uh, that's probably on you uh, because I couldn't tell what you did or what you changed to make it fail. Um, so just remember, um, you know, uh, to make sure you did everything exact and uh, when you do it the real way, you make sure just to change it to the My Ether wallet, make a new wallet and deploy the contract on an actual wallet and it will show you the gas limit. And if you do not have, when you actually go to uh, deploy the contract and let's say you don't have enough Ethereum in there, it will tell you that you don't and it won't use your Ethereum. It'll just say your gas, li your gas limit is not reached and it requires this much. So you need to put in even more. Uh, like I said, uh, with a million coins of something uh, with a basic coin, it'll probably cost you something like 30 to 40 dollars depending on the gas price at the time uh, but uh, 30 40 50 dollars in ethereum so it's not cheap it's not free to make your own uh, ethereum token but it is free of course on the ropston because you just use an ethereum uh, ropston faucet to just get free uh, free ropston and in order to do it but um, now that the uh, video is over, I would just like to thank uh, a couple donators to the channel. Uh, thank you for the $100 donation from PayPal, and thank you for the $30 donation. You guys know who you are. Super awesome. I always put all the new donators in the About Me section of my YouTube channel, which I do not have up right now, which I sort of regret. But uh, I will show you guys off sometime uh, later. But thank you for that support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or if you have your own lines of code or anything that you want to contribute to this video, put it down in the comments below. Uh, ask questions, help each other out. Feel free to help anybody. Uh, that is having a hard time doing this. Um, but uh, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.